Hi, I'm Tim Lucas, and I'm a nuke. I'm also a sailor. I used to even be a nuke sailor, but those days are fortunately behind me. Currently, I'm sailing my boat around the world. This is the ideal job for a nuclear engineer because you get to see the way that local island cultures generate their electricity. And sometimes, whenever that generation technology breaks down, they look to you for your expertise in helping to repair it. Helping out the villagers always leads to a positive cultural experience. Especially receptive are usually the children. The multidisciplinary nature of nuclear engineering is especially helpful in this job because we frequently find ourselves studying different things than what we're used to. Sometimes we're interested in ecology. This is fortunate because we get to see some of the most amazing animals to grace the planet. Although some of them are not so graceful. Other ones, like dolphins, are always especially happy to see us. They come up and thank us for being nuclear engineers and caring about the environment. One of the best parts of ecological studies is doing fish counting. Fish counting may not seem like much, but once you start doing active sampling, that's when the real action starts. Sharky! Hey, Steve! Oh my god, dude, that's a fucking shark. Uh huh. But sometimes collecting the sample can be very difficult. That is a big f body. Once we have the sample on board, though, we usually check the weight, and uh, then we have to go ahead and kill it. And then we cut it up so we can check the uh, meat quality as well as quantity. These are important biological indicators. The last part of the ecological studies is looking at water clarity. Other fields of studies that interest us include geology, um, fluid dynamics, sometimes a little bit of meteorology, and finally, for something simple, rocket science. One of the coolest parts about being a nuclear engineer is that it seems like everywhere you go, they throw a festival in honor of your arrival. But it's not all fun and games. Being a traveling nuclear engineer can be very stressful. You have to deal with heavy weather and big seas. Sometimes immense amounts of rain, anchoring issues, and having your boat in shallow waters. But as stressful as this job is, I'm not quite ready to give it up for something normal. I'm Tim Lucas, and I'm a nuclear engineer.